midday, you can see the mountains of Ireland and the mountains of Morn. Other visitors have seen dolphins and basking sharks. I will one day, but um, there's just a vast amount of uh, things happening out here and uh, it's just a super part of the Isle of Man. The museum bought it in 1957 and um, let the building out to um, another department to use as a youth hostel. And then we decided that we'd like to have a refresh, that we would um, look at it as a ideal destination for families and uh, small groups and uh, anybody who wanted to enjoy the countryside uh, sort of on your doorstep. I found it very uh, very good, it was easy to follow, um, it gave you guidelines and there were some comprehensive notes to start with. I had a little wobble when it came to the doing the access statement but once I'd looked at that and what it involved it was fine. You know, a little bit worrying to start with but it was absolutely fine to follow through. talk to environmental health because we have our own water supply here. Um, it's a borehole straight out of the ground and we also um, engage the fire officer for guidance and advice on, on where to put appliances and uh, fire precautions. We've got plenty of, uh, of advance notice um, and um, the young lady asked us for directions and, and gave us and asked us what the uh, customer would want to know how, how to get here and how to access the property. She had a walk around and looked in all the cupboards and all the all the drawers, and the information that we gave to, gave to the to our visitors about um, you know how things work. Um, there's instruction booklets on how the cooker works, how to operate the fire, that kind of thing, and generally you know um, how to access all parts of the Isle of Man from here. Very kindly awarded four stars and a gold. It was because of the, uh, the extra things that we'd had put in the house, like we had a little laundry room and uh, little finishing touches around the, around the house and um, items in the cupboards and, and uh, equipment uh, available to our guests. Well, I think that people look at um, stars and, and ratings when they're trying to um, establish where they want to stay. If you're sort of further up the list, you might have more chance of, of getting you know, the customers early and booking early for your, for your property. Use My UK Travel. Um, we also have our own website. Um, and. Um, we also hope that we will get um, word of mouth on, on the island as well. It's got the four stars and the gold on the outside of the house, so uh, uh, to encourage people that it has a self-catering accommodation now. First think of your target audience really, who are you trying to attract? Um, and then the other thing is to um, like I did, is to look outside and see what colours are outside and maybe bring them into the house because it sort of brings the outside inside. Um, and uh, the light, especially in the summer months, is so fantastic here that, uh, you know, it's just to celebrate that. And, um, you know, it, it just makes a little bit of difference. It's a nice little touch that people have picked up on. Mm -hmm.